Do you suffer from ADD or ADHD? Or do you simply have issues with focus and concentration? Well, if yes, there are certain nootropics and nootropic supplements that can help you out. But which ones? Well, let's find out. Hey, what's up, Greg here from your Inception. Welcome to my channel. If you wanna to learn top secrets about nootropics and nootropic supplements, then subscribe below to start your journey. Today, we're gonna to talk about nootropics and nootropic supplements that can help people who suffer from ADD or ADHD. Now, I know many people uh, who were diagnosed with ADHD, um, and of course, I know many more that think uh, they have ADHD, but they were not diagnosed. However, what's common for most of them is that they all have issues with focus, with concentration, uh, with their behavior sometimes with motivation. And the reason for that is that their neurotransmitters are probably not working as they should. And basically when you look at nootropics, you're searching for such compounds that can kind of uh, either increase, decrease, or just neutralize um, the levels of the most important neurotransmitters in your body. We're talking about dopamine, serotonin, acetylcholine, and norepinephrine. So the question is, can nootropics really help? Well, yes, they can help, but not all of them. So in this video, we can look at the most effective nootropics. Um, so if you're ready, let's just begin. Just before I share with you the most important and effective nootropics, uh, keep in mind that many people take smart drugs such as Adderall or Ritalin um, because they are very efficient and effective at treating the symptoms of ADD and ADHD. However, usually those smart drugs are very effective in the short term, but the long term effects um, can bring some issues. They can cause lots of side effects, unwanted ones, of course. Um, and many people try to avoid such compounds. So they search for more alternatives, which are safer and can be equally effective. So which are the most effective nootropics? Well, I found many of them and I just wanna quickly go through them. Um, and then at the end, I'm gonna share with you where you can find the most effective nootropic supplements. So if you're ready, let's do it. So the first compound is phosphatidyl tidalzerine or PS. Um, this is a very important uh, compound for keeping your brains healthy. And it is one of the most commonly used compounds for people who suffer from ADHD or ADD. Among other things, PS can improve your brain clarity or mind clarity. Uh, it can improve your focus and alertness. And that's why it is such an effective nootropic. The second effective compound is L-tyrosine. This is an amino acid uh, that you can get from food, but many people supplement it because um, it's really important to have enough L-tyrosine in your body uh, when you're under severe stress because that's where your body takes uh, or needs L-tyrosine. So if you often work in stressful situations, then um, I would recommend supplementing L-tyrosine because it can uh, definitely help you out. The next compound is Mucuna prurians. Now, this is a very powerful dopamine source um, and this contains an amino acid called L-DOPA. And what I found out is that L-DOPA can easily cross uh, the blood-brain barrier. And, you know, this is why Mucuna prurians is one of the most effective dopamine-based supplements. Another interesting compound is called N-acetylcystin. This is a semi-essential amino acid and um, I never tried it out, honestly, but what I found out is that it can replenish the very powerful antioxidant called glutathione. And this antioxidant is very important for promoting brain health. And that's why uh, n acetylcystin is so powerful for people who suffer from ADD and ADHD, but also for our people who just struggle with focus. Then there's a very interesting compound called uh, maritime pine bark extract. And maritime pine bark extract contains pycnogenol, which is a very, um, well, it's a natural substance um, that can, uh, or it's often used for treating severe cases of ADHD. And the thing is that this compound contains um, several other compounds, active compounds, uh, which all assist in treating the symptoms and in managing the symptoms of ADHD. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. So are there any other interesting compounds that we should talk about? Definitely. Next one is 5-HTP. Um, you probably know this amino acid uh, because it's very important for boosting serotonin levels and you can find it in many popular sleep supplements. Um, now, of course, you don't wanna mix 5-HTP with uh, other more focus boosting compounds because 5-HTP um, is more important for sleep um, 
also mood, but you know, sleep is probably more important. Um, but still, if you have ADHD, uh, then you should consider supplementing it. Then there's ginseng. Uh, when we talk about nootropics, we usually talk about two types of ginseng, uh, American ginseng and panic ginseng. And both seems to be effective, but what I found out, and that's very interesting, um, is that the, uh, there's one study done using American ginseng, and this study showed that um, while people, so there were children, 18 children, diagnosed with ADHD, and they were given 1,000 milligrams of ginseng, so American ginseng, and they were given it for eight weeks. And after eight weeks, people had less anxiety, um, they were functioning better, um, and you know they, were, they saw a lot of improvement. So again, ginseng, especially American ginseng, seems to be very, very effective. Ginkgo biloba is probably one of the most popular nootropic, even though it's not as effective as some think, uh, especially not for younger people. But it seems uh, that it's very potent and, and can provide lots of benefits for elderly people or people who, for example, have ADHD. There's one study that I found, um, and it's, well, it was done on children, again, who had ADHD. And when they were given a supplement of ginkgo biloba, they saw lots of improvement after three to five weeks of taking. Well, there are more studies like this done on uh, ginkgo biloba, so it is very effective and uh, it's nootropic that I would consider supplementing if I were suffering from ADHD. Well, then we shouldn't forget about B vitamins. Um, obviously, B6 is crucial for um, creation of neurotransmitters such as serotonin. Um, then, of course, we have B3, uh, which can reduce um, behavioral problems, hyperactivity, um, also loss of concentration, and of course B12, which can uh, produce and regulate different neurotransmitters. So B supplements or B vitamins, if you take them together in a B complex supplement, this is probably a good uh, supplement to take on a daily basis. Then we have Rhodiola rosea, which is one of my personal favorite nootropic. It's an adaptogenic herb um, that can help you with anxiety and with concentration. And again, it's a very potent uh, compound and can help people with ADHD. And last but not least, we have L-theanine, um, an amino acid found in green tea. And the cool thing about L-theanine is that it can um, facilitate uh, sleep, for example, by boosting GABA levels um, and can um, also, of course, make you more focused, but it does not necessarily make you uh, sleepy. It's not a sedative compound it can just make you more relaxed and focused at the same time. So it is great for people with ADHD. All right, guys, we went through a lot of different compounds, a lot of different nootropics that can potentially help you out. So here's the thing. If you suffer from ADHD or ADD, of course, first of all, you need to consult your doctor. Don't try anything at home. At least that's not what I would recommend doing. However, with this list of uh, effective compounds. You can find lots of interesting nootropic supplements, this means nootropic stacks, different compounds together in a nootropic supplement um, that can probably help you out, um, that, that can increase your focus, improve your alertness, uh, make you more motivated, uh, make you more relaxed at the same time. And of course, I have proven, scientifically proven effects on decreasing the symptoms of ADD and ADHD. So below you can find link to my blog post where you can find more information about my favorite nootropic supplements. And that's where you can also buy some really high quality supplements that can help you out. And if I were you, I would try it out. But before you do that, do consult your doctor once again, just to be on the safe side, because you never know, right? Well, keep in mind that most of the compounds are completely natural. Um, I take them daily. Um, and a lot of biohackers take them because um, they can improve your cognitive performance, uh, also they can improve your sleep, but yeah, it's always good to stay on the safe side. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, do let me know. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook and Instagram, and I hope to see you soon. Take care.